being on the picket line for 630 odd days is just devastating. There's only so many times you can call the bank and say, I'm sorry, I don't have my mortgage payment this month. Is it going to come down to losing our houses at some point? Everybody's pulling out their, their life savings, their RSPs that they have tucked away for retirement to make ends meet. I'm up to my eyeballs in bills. It is very hard. There's a lot of stress. As a single mom, it's been horrifying. I've taken out my life savings. I've been behind on my rent. I have children to feed. I have bills to pay, and I can't do it. I have a son and a daughter. You know, they know they can't be asking for extra stuff, and, and I can't give it to them. And it's sad, but they do understand. They have to go without. It's frustrating to have American employer come in, drive us out of our jobs. This is Canada. They have been found guilty of bargaining in bad faith twice. No consequences. We feel like we're the ones that's being punished. All we're trying to do is get a fair collective agreement in place and they don't want to negotiate. And now they're just taking people off the street and giving them our jobs with no experience and they're building aircraft parts. They're not flipping burgers. My son was six months old when I went to school to learn this trade. And they're telling me that I'm bullying them. I mean, here they are going day after day doing my job. They drive past us, just like as if we were just garbage on the side of the road. They're doing hard job. So by them doing it, the longer we're staying out. People are becoming very, very worn out. And this is going on for the third winter now. Soon be, soon be winter again now. We suffer two hard winters out here. I've been out here with ice stuck to me. Your feet are numb, your fingers are numb. It's been unbelievably cold. It's a case now where if nobody else is going to do anything here, it's time that we take matters into our own hands. And after 21 months, obviously it's desperate measures now. We're not going to let them break us. No, we've stood together too long to be broken. If we're here for five years, we will not be broken.